Did y'all see that? Captain America can't do that. Whew, that was crazy. Let's get into it right after this. Man, so uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode four. Uh, this was a crazy episode. I'm going to just touch on the, the, the highlights of the episode. Not going to do it for a uh, walkthrough, but uh, let's talk about the beginning. Um, you know, obviously, you know, what happened at the end. We get to that. But the beginning, uh, when they did the call back to Wakanda, I thought that was that was dope. They had the Wakandian music playing. They had, um, I forget her name. I don't want to pronounce the wrong name because they was killing people on Twitter last week. Uh, starts with an O. Um, from the Dora Milaje. She was, uh, she's the one that trained Buck. I thought that was interesting to show how, yeah, how he got rid of uh, his control from Hydra. Um, so they were doing all the... Um, the call outs from the winter, the um, Civil War when they were saying, you know, freight train and 19 and homecoming, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's great to see Bucky going through those emotions. They're doing flashbacks to him killing Tony Stark's parents, him being his full Winter Soldier when he was a badass before he became the uh, shell of a man we see today. But um, so but Buck got a little soft spot for him. I wonder if he was banging one of No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he had a sister when he was in Wakanda, though. He had that. Listen, hey, it was, it was plentiful over there, I'm sure. But you see him full, no arm, trying to fight his demons. She helped him out. She, she wants Zemo, obviously. He's like, I need a little bit more time. Uh, Zemo did a, amazing again in this episode. It's, it's, it's interesting to see how... His methods of getting things and getting information differs from theirs because they kind of, you know, they try to be kind of direct with it. But people know who they are and like a lot of people don't trust him. And he used the old, hey kids, I got some candy. Trick put the candy, the little girl told him what she wanted to hear. Uh, so he minds up finding uh, where they're going. Uh, prior to that, we seen that they found some, they got some more super soldiers from him. It was hiding in a gravesite somewhere. So she has a pouch. I think it was maybe like eight vowels, seven to eight vowels. Um, so they wind up finding that information out. Um, Smug Captain America. How did he know where they were? He just pops out of nowhere. Hey, I need him. I need Zemo. Um, they wind up convincing them to work with him, but he just fucks everything up. Man. He's just, he's just, oh, I can't stand this dude. <laughs> I really can't stand they, get, they did a good job casting because I cannot stand this dude. Uh, but we see that um, Sam has, Sam kind of agrees with her to some extent, you know, not the way she's killing people, but he, he understands her ideology behind why she's doing what she's doing. And it's, uh, I'm not going to say it's refreshing, but it, it works to his advantage because when he's trying to talk to her, I had this one-on-one, -on -one, he even turns his back to her at one point like this. And I was like, oh, he's crazy because she could have like snapped his neck or anything. But I think she knows that she could take Sam and I. she's seen where he was coming from. But as he's getting through to her, smug Captain America, not my cap. If you want t-shirts from not my cap, by the way, here I got some. I am trill.com. Get the not, not my cap shirts. Uh, check them out. Not my cap. Mm -mm. Hashtag not my cap. But uh, <laughs> he's getting through her. Smug Captain America winds up um, intercepting. She's like, oh, you try to set me up. He's like, no, no. They wind up getting their ass handed to him. They go back to the loft, and this is my fight scene that I like. When the Dol Milaj, uh is fighting all these guys, and they're just giving them the, they just kicking their ass, dude. The females in the MCU, we need a, we need a, a, a just an all-female MCU movie because clearly they OP than the men. They definitely OP the men, <laughs> without a question. But uh, Sam even tries to give Smug Captain America a warning. Like, listen, you better off fighting Buck before you fight the Dol Malaz. Like, they not playing with your ass. And sure enough, and it was it was crazy how he busts in. Like, he's all author authoritative. And and then this, a fucking spirit just comes out of nowhere. He's like, and he's trying to talk to her. He puts his hand on her. And it was all, she fucking beat the living crap out of him. I'm like, oh. And I was, I was enjoying every minute of it because I don't like him. Sam and Buck, he was like, Sam's like, you gonna help him? Just help him, Buck. <laughs> so Buck's trying to 
And they giving Buck a hard time, man. Dude, when she dismantled his arm, that was like the high. Dude, I, I watched that maybe five, maybe 20 times. I had to rewind that. She, she did something. Arm just falls right off. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, they could do that? I didn't know that if that was a thing that could be done. Sam's even like, yo, did she know she could do that? He was like, no. Like, I didn't know that at all. That was sweet. That was dope as hell. Uh, <laughs> go to the next fight scene or to another location. Oh, she caught the little girl, the little SOB, called Sam's sister, scared the living crap out of her and told her and threatened his nephews and told because uh, she wanted to meet up with Sam. I guess she got she she trusts Sam. That's what I'm gathering from it. She wanted to meet up with Sam and uh, she got his attention. So they go in full uniform. They go to meet up again. Sharon calls him and tell him smug Captain America is on his way. So they're going to try to intercept. And um, oh, prior to this, before I skip over, first confrontation. Uh, the super soldier serum got destroyed by Zemo because he got to lose and he shot the girl Carly. Stepped on all the serum and smug Captain America steals a vial. I knew something was up with this dude. I cannot stand him. Uh, he winds up stealing a vial of it and obviously he winds up taking it because it's leading up to it every time every scene he's in he's talking about it and he winds up taking it we see in the next he got the superpower he's throwing his shield to the wall i'm like oh this is crazy uh but he winds up um they wind up kidnapping Battlestar because they split up and they wind up tying him up he gets out but and i knew something was going on with him it's just the way just as long as I've been watching films, and I got a buddy that works on films, he always tells me when it's something about that big got to happen, they'll emphasize on something small that we don't really. And they was emphasizing on the water dripping. And uh, first I'm like, is it gasoline? Is he about to blow up? But then you see uh, the Walker's about to get hit. He kind of tackles the girl and he tries to engage with Carly, and she just punches him against the pillar. And then, I don't know if it snapped his neck or it broke his back. I gotta watch it again. But he winds up dying, and you can see she didn't mean to do it, uh, but, you know, it was done. Tries to, She runs away. Walker's freaking out. Sam and Bucky are stuck like, oh, shit. They're running away, and Walker does full cap. Now, this was a Captain America move. Jumping out of a window with the shield and landing on the van, that's some Captain America type shit. That's something Steve Rogers would have did. Uh, but he went and did this next part, so he's, he, he's chasing the henchman down. They engage in battle, and this is the difference between the super soldier serums for the people that just got it, and then the people that are skilled. See, these guys got super soldier serum, but they don't have combat skills. Walker, Falcon, uh, Bucky, they have, even though uh, Sam doesn't have super soldier serum, he was holding his own because he has combat skills. He knows how to use the resources at his disposal versus these guys that just got, um, you know, the serum, and they're just punching and swinging. So that's why they were just easily beating these motherfuckers, because they didn't have fought. Walker's been, got four medals. He's been to Afghanistan. He knows what he's doing with combat. Uh, so anyway, he's, he's, he's fighting this guy. He obviously overpowers him and wins, and he's laying down. <laughs> and he's laying down on a shield. I just seen a notification that came by about something. And he's laying down, and he's got the shield over him. And I'm like, he not going to do it. Everybody got their phones out. He not about to kill us, man. I was like, he probably just going to knock them out. And they don't show up. But... And this was crazy because MCU is normally like PG-13. So they don't really be showing too much gory. And he's like, ah, ah, ah. And he's fucking blunging this guy. I don't know if he decapitated him or what. But his shield is covered with blood. And he's just standing over there. And I'm like, oh, man. And I knew it was about to cut off. I'm like, yo, they better not cut this off. They bet not end it here, and they sure enough they ended it there. I'm like, oh no, like this is so good. Like, what's gonna happen? So, uh, Walker obviously is not gonna be Captain America no more, <laughs> which explains probably how Sam gets the shield back in the trailer in his Falcon costume, and how uh, I think he's gonna be a villain or something. He this this is where it becomes convoluted. We'll see what happens, though. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If it's anything I missed out or brushed over, let's talk about it in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you need not my cap shirts, hit your boy up, imtrill.com. 
Till next time, peace, love, and prosperity. I'm the Black Abstract. Uh.